The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. In this demonstration, we're going to show simple way of rotating the plane of polarization of laser light from zero degrees to anywhere to 90 degrees using simple techniques, for example, by the use of polarizers. The setup that we're going to use is here. We have a laser, helium neon laser, and here is the, the beam of the laser light. We're going to reflect it off this mirror and then reflect it again of the second mirror. And then we'll go through a polarizer. And then the light coming out of the polarizer will go onto, onto the screen. The purpose of this polarizer is to establish the state of polarization of the light coming out of the polarizer. If the polarizer is any good, the state of polarization after the polarizer should be plain polarized. Now, the little arrow here labels the transmission axis of the polarizer, which means that the state of polarization of the light then is aligned with that arrow. Now, let us uh, show indeed that the state of polarization of that polarizer is indeed as we said it was. So we take another polarizer and we put it over here. Again, the arrow labels the transmission axis of the second polarizer. Now. When I have the arrow vertical, the same as in this case, the, uh, the light is around its peak value. It's very difficult for us to see what's happening around the peak value. So it's nice to turn the, the uh, transmission axis of, the, of this polarizer until we extinguish the light, which means that the transmission axis of this polarizer, which is uh, going to be referred to as the analyzer, is orthogonal to the axis here. And the fact, as we look on the screen, the fact that we can null the light means that the polarization here, uh, before entering this analyzer, is indeed plane polarized. And the direction of the arrow here, uh, which labels the, uh, the null, uh, intensity, which means that, that the transmission axis now of the polarizer is orthogonal to the polarization of the light, um, is then indicated by, by the direction of the arrow. But we all know that the, the, the true polarization of the light is the vertical, in the vertical direction. But it's much easier for us to label the, uh, the block axis, the direction of the block axis. So please keep in mind that the even though I might show you the null on the, on the screen, the actual polarization is 90 degrees away from that. Now I'm going to demonstrate the rotation of the plane of polarization by means of a polarizer. First, what I'm going to do is set this analyzer back to where it was, set the arrow vertical, and then take uh, another polarizer then to, to rotate the plane of polarization. Now. At the beginning, I'm going to set this, oh, this polarizer arrow, which is again labels the transmission axis of this polarizer, in line with all the others. The, then I want to rotate the plane of polarization of the light by this polarizer, let's say by 45 degrees. Well, in order to check that indeed I have rotated by 45 degrees, again, I'm going to track the null. So now if we look on the screen and I rotate the analyzer, let's see where null is this time. And here it is. We can see that null is when the arrow is, is in this direction, which is, again, 90 degrees to the position in this direction, which is uh, about uh, uh, 50 degrees or so from where it was before. Now, let me go back to to the to aligning the analyzer with the with the peak transmission and you can see that the peak transmission it's not that difficult to see but you can see that uh, it is about half about half or so about half the intensity of the peak transmission that I had 
when this polarizer was uh, in the vertical uh, direction. Now, the, if I want to rotate the polarization some more, uh, let's say uh, close to uh, 90 degrees, again track the, uh, the direction of the null. Now, as we watch on the screen here, the position of null now is, is over here and shows that the arrow is pretty close to vertical, which means, again, we've rotated the planar polarization uh, uh, some more. Now, the interesting thing about going close to 90 degrees is that the peak transmission, the peak transmission of the light, as you can see over here, is not, uh, is not so big. And in fact, if I go even closer to uh, 90 degrees, closer to 90 degrees, I don't even get any light transmitted through, through, the, uh, through the polarizer. So the conclusion then is that I can rotate the planar polarization of light using a simple polarizer, but the penalty is that as I get close to 90 degrees of rotation, polarization rotation, I get very little light uh, transmitted. So in order to overcome this problem, we use a second polarizer. And we place the second polarizer, in this case I place it before the, the first, before this polarizer here. And, uh, and remember, even before I put it in, that the polarization of the light now is along, along this axis, which is 90 degrees with respect to this one. And that's why we didn't get any light through the analyzer. Now, I'm going to put this polarizer here. And uh, the, this, polarizer, this polarizer is still along this direction, which is orthogonal to this one. And before, remember, there was no light coming through. And now, and now you can see by adjusting the, the axis of, of this polarizer here, I can get some light to come through with polarization that is orthogonal to the original one. And again, to go demonstrate that the null now is along the vertical direction, which means I have achieved 90 degree rotation using now two polarizers and still have light left. The sad story is that you only get one quarter of the light coming out when you rotate the polarization by 90 degrees. But a quarter of the light at 90 degree rotation is better than no light at all. So to summarize, if you use only one polarizer, you can rotate the state of polarization by, let's say, up to about 45 degrees or so and only lose half the intensity. If you want to go more, then you pay a uh, penalty in intensity. But if you use two polarizers, then you can rotate any way you want. And the worst thing you can do at 90 degree rotation is that you get only a quarter of the light coming through.